what's going on guys welcome back to my channel uh, if you haven't already hit that like subscribe and notification bell so you can get updated on more videos that i will be bringing you guys today i'm gonna be doing a uh, video on my client here he's gonna do a uh, mid mid ball fade we're gonna drop it below that right by that occipital bone in the back uh, just to keep that a little bit darker and it's more of a crop top type of look uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in with our soft trimmer I'm gonna use the flash FX and go ahead and put in our bald line uh, he doesn't like his C cup so we're gonna take his C cup out and we're gonna drop it just a little bit in the back I'm gonna take this line the whole way around the head um, and sorry in advance again I'm still trying to get these uh, these videos in order and trying to get the the lighting right and I kind of figured out what I was doing with this video and what was wrong with my camera settings why it looks so bright and I did fix it uh, so you'll see that later on but I went in after I went with that soft trimmer and used my gold FX to clean it out take it a little bit closer then I'll take my wall senior, go in with the blade open, and go up about a half an inch, um, making sure that guideline is nice and clean and consistent the whole way through. And I forgot, I usually go in with my with my close shaver after I do the trimming work, but you know, I caught myself at you know after I did that and went back in and used that shaver. I'll then take my Andis Master uh, with the blade closed and I'll go ahead and start knocking this bald line out. I believe from the video I'm, I'm using a fade blade. Uh, it just cuts a lot closer. Um, I kind of switch back and forth just depending on the hair texture uh, and uh, the density of the hair. What blade I, I usually use to take that bottom line out. So here I'm going in with my number one guard open, creating a second guideline. Just making sure I keep that guideline consistent and make sure that I clear it out really good. I'll close it up and then I'll start to blend downwards just underneath that one guard open. As you see me messing with the colors here. I start to get get it to where I would like it to be at. A lot of messing around. And there we go. We're back. Color corrected just a little bit. <laughs> so now we're going to go with that one, that half guard. Uh, with the blade closed and we're gonna open it up and we're kind of play with that lever until we start to see the transition come come to life uh, and you'll see me going in with the corner of my blade and I like to detail as I go a lot and I like to come back later on in the haircut and detail just a little bit more uh, some I'll show you some I won't show you but uh, just know that the finished product is a lot more detailing than I do more so than the process of the haircut as you can see, its growth pattern kind of, you know, takes a swirl towards, you know, right by that ear. So, I, you know, put a lot of focus in that area. Um, just using that, making sure I'm using that corner of the blade make, and just taking out any dark spots that I see. You'll see me jump back and forth between guards. I'll go to that one guard, I'll go to that half guard. And now you'll see how I'm going to that blade with no guard on it. And I'm just playing with that lever, uh, just going through the corner of my blade and just taking out any dark spots that I see. 
you know, I'll open and close it and uh, just detail. I mean, detail work is super important when you're coming, when you're doing these ball fades and they, that's how you make your fade stand out from the next person. A system is, is a system for a reason. My system changes based on, you know, the haircut that I'm doing, the style that I'm doing, uh, a lot of variations that, that change when I'm in my system. But that's what makes me a little bit different. So find find your process and what you like to do. Here you saw me go in with that number two guard, blade open. And then I like to close that up. As you see, like, and I'll go right back in. You know, I would jump from that two guard to back to that no guard and I'll go to detail in this haircut again. So it's 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 hard to kind of explain my process. You know, bear with me. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Been having some issues with my comments not being on. Um, so I'm definitely work, trying to work on that and get that fixed. As you see, though, I'm trying to keep this the shape square. Uh, I'm trying to keep that ridge a little bit darker, so I'm kind of just coming up off the head. Now on this side, obviously I realized that uh, I didn't use the trimmer after I used my soft trimmer. And I went, just went in there and cleaned it up a little bit more. I mean, but you can see that blend, that blend is really coming together already going with the coat close shaver this time i did it before i put the first guideline in and like i said it changes it all, all like my haircuts change my clippers change and i do that because i like i like to switch it up else i get bored so there we go we're gonna put that that guard that no guard in with the wall senior going up about a half an inch Same thing, we're gonna knock out that bald line. I'm not gonna go into great detail with this side. It's pretty much the same process that I use on the on the previous side to do the second side. I'm kind of working with it. I, know I might I might not show this the other side just to kind of keep the video sweet and short and straight to the point. Uh, but yeah, I mean just running through it now and taking that ball line out. As you see, it's already coming together. Uh, go in with that number one guard open Using that C-stroke motion is super important, uh, especially when you're going in and leaving these guidelines. This way, you don't leave such a harsh guideline when you're when you're going through the process, because you can see kind of like the haircut's already coming together. You can't really tell a harsh line uh, that's there. There, I close close that blade up, and I just fade underneath that. So a lot of times it's like fade up, but then fade down, fade up, then fade down. But then I also change it up based on the haircut or hairstyle that I'm doing. I encourage everybody to kind of find their own style, find what works for them, especially in their setting. I mean, I cut black, white, Asian. I cut all types of people. So, you know, some people that just cut in predominantly black areas, so they only cut black people hair. So it's a little bit different. Um, so every process for me just changes based on the person that I have in the chair. I got that one that half guard on there. That number two guard open. Close 
close it up. Here I'm just taking that one guard with it closed, just using the corners, taking out any dark spots that I see. I feel like the detail work is more important than the process itself. Now you'll see me just going through, jumping between guards. Before I forget, man, my guy, he's he's living in Colorado. Uh, so every time he's in town, his family lives, lives in PA. So uh, every time he's in town, he makes sure he comes see me. He has yet to find a barber that can cut it the way he wants it to be cut. Um, but I told him, I said, let's make this YouTube video. And this way, when he does go to a barber, it's easy. You know, you could just go ahead and give him the show him the YouTube video. And it should be just someone should be able to replicate, you know, re reciprocate the process. So. Here I'm just using that clipper comb uh, just to kind of maintain that square shape. And unfortunately, I did not get a chance to record the top. I must have like did the top, had it focused on it, and never hit the record button. Um, so like that's my apologies. But I had this video. I definitely wanted to release it. Um, we just added some texture to the top. We didn't take any length off. Uh, so you'll just see the finished product. Uh, sorry in advance. I wasn't able to show you the, the top. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Be on the lookout. More videos to come. And once again, please like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, here's the finished product. Thanks guys, I'm out.